As we have seen in my other courses, I like to make real database-driven applications using either MySQL or MongoDB. In the next few lessons, we'll build a counter app that will be a good boilerplate application for your MySQL-based Quart projects. I will take the concepts from my Flask MySQL boilerplate app, but make it asynchronous and, of course, use Quart. But before we start writing the application, we need to understand one of the many quirks we'll see when working with asynchronous applications, and this one is related to database ORMs. For our original Flask MySQL boilerplate application, we used SQL Alchemy, the Python database ORM or Object Relational Mapper. However, for async projects, we can't use the same library without some form of penalization. Flask SQL Alchemy does work with Quart using the Flask patch function we discussed earlier, but it doesn't yield to the event loop when it does I.O. This will mean it cannot handle much concurrent load, only a couple of concurrent requests. There's also some issues that I won't go into in too much detail, having to do with the overhead of how Python handles MySQL connections and the type of locking your transactions can do. I suggest you read this blog post from Mike Bayer, the author of SQL Alchemy, if you want to learn more about the subject. However, we don't need to go back to using raw SQL queries in our code base. It just happens that we can use the SQL Alchemy core package from SQL Alchemy, which allows us to express queries in a nice way without the ORM overhead. We'll also be using the AIO MySQL package to connect to MySQL asynchronously. So let's go ahead and start coding our Quart MySQL boilerplate. 